Good morning and Shabbat Shalom. This is Shabbat Shira. <clears throat> we in the family of Bet Tikva join with the family of Norman and Helene Kravosha in feeling deep loss on the passing of our beloved member, the Honorable Norman Kravosha. Norman was a leader and a teacher of our congregation. He was our superhero trustee the person who took joy in finding a spiritual leader for us in our Rabbi Amos Chorni and a powerful and resonant voice for justice in the world. As we heard from his daughters, Norman was also a very powerful supporter of women and their capabilities in the life of society. We are all so grateful for the time we were given to have with Norman in our midst and to learn from him. May his memory be for a blessing. Our Torah portion this Shabbat, Parshat Beshalach, concludes with the crossing of the Red or the Reed Sea and Shirat Hayam, the Song of the Sea. This is the first singing voice in the Torah by Miriam, sister of Moses and Aaron, celebrating triumph in the midst of fear after the perilous journey of crossing the sea by the Jewish people who were pursued by an army bent on their destruction. It is our signature moment of leaving en enslavement in the land of Egypt and moving towards freedom. Our Torah portion is about the journey into a complete unknown, making that journey with all of its uncertainties, arriving finally in a safe place for the moment on dry land. The women of the community lead the celebration in song, fortified by faith and trust in an uncertain future. The timbrel in Miriam's hand carried down to us to this day in its modern form as a tambourine to accompany spirituals and songs of faith. Miriam giving on behalf of all women voice to triumph and joy and hope. Long ago, as a small child at my father's side, during high holiday services, I came to understand the power of musical voice to convey inexpressible emotion and religious belief. You must always remember, my father would say to me, that there is a power greater than you and you are but a part of a much greater whole. We would listen to the tenor voices of the boy choirs who came from Eastern Europe at that time to our congregation to chant and sing the high holiday melodies before their voices changed and before they took on the tones of men. In those days in conservative shuls, women were not permitted at the bima. Women did not chant or sing. And young girls like myself were not permitted to study Hebrew or Talmud Torah. The concept of a bat mitzvah did not exist. There were no women cantors or rabbis to serve as our models. All of that was reserved for the boys. Nonetheless, love of music led me to embrace the spirit of Judaism. So much has changed in the last 70 years. Joe and I look forward this year to the bat mitzvah of our grandniece. And I, as a woman, am completing a decade of service as an officer of Bet Tikva, the last two years as co-president with my dear friend, Shelley Goodman. This year in Bet Tikva, during this year of living in the midst of pandemic, we have completed a magnificent series of musical events led by women. We began the new year in September with three repetitions of the Kol Nidre prayer 
led by women, Rabbi Cantor Hilary Chorney, cantorial soloist Nicole Chorney, and Cantor Franny Goodman. The sadness we felt not being able to celebrate the high holidays together and in our shul was dissipated through their beautiful renditions. We experienced the beauty of the moment, a part yet hopeful, immersed in the music. We began our calendar year 2021 with a dazzling concert of three Tony voices, Rabbi and Aviva's daughter Michal, Rabbi Cantor Hillary and Cantor Nicole. It was an amazing moment of hope and a new start to a year which was filled with trepidation and uncertainty. We were joined by sister congregations in California and Arizona. More than 400 people attended the event. Rabbi Chorney connected us as he has throughout this year with the wonders of technology, Zoom and live stream, bringing Beth Tikva into a new and virtual age where we expect to live for a long time into the future. Music expresses what words and emotions sometimes are insufficient to convey. The voices of women, especially in prayer and comfort, are precious. The fact that Torah gives the honor of song to a woman at the outset of the journey of the Jewish people to freedom and to receive the laws of God is remarkable and continues to be transformative to this day. And that is part of the reason that we, the women of Bet Tikva, celebrate this Shabbat and Shirat Hayam today. We remember Miriam. And we remember that God remembers us. Shabbat Shalom.